Hello Tonka, this is Ben Stanerson, and in this short video I want to show you how to use Google Meet and your iPad to deliver instruction remotely. So first I wanted to give you an overview of what this looks like in a typical setup. So here is my home office with my computer and my iPad. Right now I'm using Google Meet on the computer and I'm also presenting to the same Google Meet on my iPad. So from my iPad, I can advance slides and the slide will advance on the Google Meet. So I'm really controlling the slide deck and the slide presentation from my iPad. That gives us a lot of versatility and I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. On the student side, the students will be able to see on when they join the Google Meet, they'll be able to see the same notes presented in their slides. I would now like to walk you through how I set this up with my both my iPad and my computer. The first step is to start a meeting and I used a join code in order to start the meeting. Once the Google Meet is started on your computer, switch over to the Slides app on your iPad. So I've opened up the Google slide that I want to present using the Slides app. From here, you'll choose the triangle in the top, the play button, and you'll choose present to new or existing meeting. That brings up a meeting ID. From here, I'll type in the meeting ID and I'm going to join. Now it shows the presentation screen and in my Google Meet, it also is now demonstrating and showing the presentation on my Google Meet slide. I'm also able to toggle between different presenters and different viewers. I like using a tile mode, so I'm going to turn on my layout here, a sidebar or tiled, either one, and that allows me to view the students who have joined, like John Doe, I see him join right here, and my notes at the same time. So I can be instructing and viewing both things on my computer. Again, I'm going to be advancing the slides and going through things on my iPad in order to do the teaching. Um, the other advantage of this is there are some limited annotation features that are built right into the slides. So if you click on the pen tool in the very top corner, and now I can use my Google Pencil, and I can actually annotate on the screen. It does have some limitations. It's not as good as Notability, but it does give you some of that functionality. That is then displayed right in the Google Meet, and it's also displayed right on the student iPad, as you can see here. The next thing I want to show you is how you can present any app on your iPad screen by doing an iPad screen share through Google Meet, including Notability, Seesaw, or any other teaching app that you want to present to your students. To do that, I will be opening the Meet app, so I'm in Meet, and then I will be joining the same meet with the same meeting code. So I'm going to use the meeting code that I used on my computer. I'm going to join that. All right, I've also completely turned off my microphone on my iPad, and I've also completely turned off my speakers on my iPad to avoid any feedback. So you can see my microphone is off. For this case, I'm going to be using my computer's microphone to pick up any of the audio. Um, you can do vice versa, but I recommend only using one of the microphones at a time. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the upper corner of the Google Meet, the three dots, and I'm going to choose Present Screen. Now I'm going to be able to start a broadcast, and what that will do is it's going to share anything that's happening on my iPad. It's going to share that with the Google Meet. So now I'm going to want to navigate out of this by doing a swipe up and choosing a different tool like Notability. So I'm going to choose Notability. And now I'm in Notability. I'm going to pull up a answer key that I might want to use and I might want to teach with. As I'm going through this answer key, it's also now displaying on my iPad and it's displaying on the Google Meet at the same time. So once again, just like I'm presenting the Google slide, I'm now sharing my iPad screen and it's presenting to the Google Meet. Very similarly, the student view, 
we'll see the same thing on their Google Meet once they've signed in. When you're done with your lesson and done presenting, you can tap on the red circle at the top. This will allow you to stop the broadcast. And now notice the Google Meet is now back to just the Google Meet without any screen sharing on the presentation. And I can toggle back to my Google Meet. Thanks for watching. Please reach out if you have any questions. I hope this helps you understand the process of teaching remotely with both Google Meet and your iPad a little bit more. Please take some time to practice this. I hope you'll find that this workflow um, works in a lot of different scenarios and situations. Thanks and have a great day.